Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the dreaded Windows 10 memory management error for free. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so today's video is going to start off with me trying to fix my Windows 10 Windows memory management error, which I was getting. I was getting a, a slightly more and more frequent blue screen of death with the Windows memory management error, and it was starting to drive me slightly mad. Got to the point where I was going to have to look for some new RAM, thinking, oh, it's going to be expensive. Here we go. I could do with 32 gigs of RAM, which isn't cheap these days. Although, if you do want 32 gigs of RAM, the best deal I found you can find in the uh, comment section below. And it is obviously an affiliate link, so feel free to support the channel. But anyway, back to the story. So, doing some video editing, and I was noting my PC was getting a little bit laggy. It was behaving a little bit odd, and it just wasn't feeling right. So this morning, come down, turned the PC on, went away, made a cup of tea, come back, and we've got the blue screen of death with the Windows memory management. So, not entirely uncommon to see, so rebooted the PC, carried on, and before I could finish the cup of tea, we got another one. So obviously things are not going well. So this is my process of elimination of how I fix the problem and how I did it actually completely for free. Didn't cost me a penny. Luckily I had some of the bits here anyway in the house, but I'll tell you what I did and how I went about it. So the first thing to do with any memory issues is actually physically check the RAM. So the first thing I did, take the PC apart, take out the RAM sticks and give them a visual inspection. Also, at the same time, it's a very good idea to use something like a air duster or perhaps even a toothbrush if you're going to do it gently and just try and give any dust a quick dust off, blow it away because dust can actually cause problems with those small contacts on the RAM chips and also on the motherboard. Now just to be ultra careful and make sure that it was all done properly, the dust blaster is pretty good for removing loose dust, but if there's any grime or oily film which may have got onto the contacts in any way, especially if you live in a house where there's other people that vape or smoke, or even if you're just in a high pollution area, you can get that pollution dragged inside of your PC from the fans and it will eventually coat some of the surfaces inside the PC. So the next thing I did was to grab a eraser from the top of a pen or pencil and just gently go over all the contacts and remove any grime or dust. This is actually very reminiscent of those of you who may be old enough to remember the electronic racing cars we had back in the day for scale electric and the contacts on the cars would sometimes not work properly so you'd end up with a rubber going around the entire track getting rid of any dust, dirt or grime. You can also at this point if you wish use some alcohol based cleaner. Be careful what you use, the contacts are relatively sensitive so obviously do be careful but at this point it's actually a very good idea to try and clean off as much grime as possible. So with the RAM chips completely cleaned, or as far as I know, completely cleaned, then reinstall one memory module at a time and try and get it to boot into Windows. If you manage to get it to boot into Windows, you can then run the Windows Memory Diagnostic. Now this is a built-in tool into Windows 10, which can check the RAM for you. So all you do, type in Windows Memory Diagnostic, run the app, and you'll get an instruction. Do you want to run it now or after your next reboot? So if you want to find out what's going on, click on the Restart Now button and it will go into the Windows Memory Diagnostic. Now the Memory Diagnostic can take a little while, so you may want to go in, uh, put the kettle on, have a quick cup of tea, but you can quite happily let it run and it will do its own thing. And once it's finished, it will reboot and tell you if there is an error. If you hang around and actually watch the screen, you may find that an error message will pop up saying that your RAM actually does have a hardware fault and that you should contact your vendor or retailer. So if you're running more than one RAM stick, obviously, check both of them on their own. That is the safest way of doing it. If you check both at the same time, you're not gonna be able to know which one of your RAM sticks is potentially at fault. So do run them separately. Also, while you're at it, when you're taking the RAM sticks in and out, make sure they're firmly seated. And again, with the can of air duster, give the memory slots a good blasting over to make sure there's no dust actually in the slots themselves. Now don't put the nozzle from the air duster directly into the slots. You just wanna be a couple of inches away from them because the propellant may actually come out of the nozzle and possibly damage the contacts on the board, which is the last thing you want to do. And actually, it is also worthwhile checking in either your system's BIOS or by using CPU-Z. Actually, go in and see that your memory modules 
if you can get into Windows that is, make sure they're set up correctly and are using the right CAS latencies for the chips. Now, if you're not sure what your CAS latencies are, generally you'll find them printed on the sticker on your RAM or alternately contact the retailer of the sticks to find out exactly what the specs are. It's also worth checking that your motherboard is running with the latest BIOS. That can also play havoc with systems, especially AMD systems, as they are relatively well known for having issues with certain RAM types. You can also check the qualified vendors list to make sure that the RAM that you've purchased is actually compatible with your motherboard. If for any reason it isn't, you can always enter the timings manually, but do check it just to be on the safe side. Also worth checking is make sure that all your drivers are up to date and all that kind of thing. Also chipset drivers, graphics card drivers, although not directly related, can cause memory issues. So definitely worth checking. So actually during my testing, even after going through the cleaning, the uh, alcohol on the strips, using the eraser, and also gently going over the toothbrush to make sure there was nothing actually on it, it still came out with the error message. So I did the weirdest thing you could possibly think of. I thought, the RAM stick is fried, it's no good. So I actually licked it. Yes, that's right, I licked the contacts, then wiped it off with the uh, microfiber cloth, reinstalled it, because I thought, well, what have I got to lose? Otherwise it's 40, 50 pounds worth of memory down the drain. And lo and behold, after licking the RAM and cleaning it off and reseating it in the board, I ran the Microsoft Windows memory test and it actually passed the test and was A-OK. -okay. And at this time, as I'm recording this video, and actually as you're watching this video, this video would have actually been rendered and completely edited on that system with those RAM sticks. So if you're having an issue with your memory in your PC, those are some of the things that you can try to remedy them. Obviously, the licking part of it is uh, kind of on your own head be it, but it actually worked for me. So it probably just was some uh, grease or dirt actually on the, uh, on the small little tags, the golden tags on the memory chip, which weren't removed with the eraser or with the alcohol wipe. So there we go. There is how to fix your memory problems, hopefully, with your Windows 10 PC or any PC for that matter. It doesn't really matter what you're running on it. The principle is exactly the same. So this will work for any RAM modules, either desktop PC, Macintosh, laptop, whatever it may be. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has and you've enjoyed it, give the video a like. If you've got any comments or questions or any other suggestions, please feel free to put them in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.